Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another episode of Before You Back, where I take a look at a different Kickstarter item every single time and spotlight some red flags, bring them to you so you can make a more informed buying decision. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out the Prepped Chef Skillet, which is currently on Kickstarter. It has 28 days left to go, and it's already raised over $420,000. And I will say, this video is one of the best Kickstarter videos I've ever seen in my life. But one thing I always recommend you do is check out the comments, because as I'm about to show you, the comment sections on their previously created projects are quite a bit of a dumpster fire. So here we can see that they have made the cheat sheets, the prep skillet, the prep colors, and the prepped pack. And we'll start with their most recent product, the cheat sheets. And once we get into the comments, it's going to get bad and it's, it's going to stay that way, I, ha I hate to say. Hi, we've just had our second meal using the prepped silicone inserts with Trey, and this is the second time the food tastes soapy and has had to be thrown away. After the first use last week, thinking there was a problem, chances soap trim washing. All right, don't send me your pan. <laughs> Uh, as you have noted, the inserts do tend to stretch slash expand while in the oven. I used the tray insert in the box once and have found the tray insert to be the worst for expansion. Uh, so they're saying, uh, it works, but it's, it's got issues. Sure, uh, so these stains won't go away after my first use. OMG, just wondering if anyone else is having difficulty getting the thing clean. It takes a lot of misplaced confidence to launch another Kickstarter when your last one has turned into a huge gong show of unusable slash unsuitable and or unsafe products along with mountains of feedback ignored or only responded to via cut and paste platitudes and i will tell you it does not get better the further you go down so that is oh for one on the previous products but we say okay you know the one that's important is the prep skillet because we're looking at a skillet so can they do a skillet that's what i want to know maybe they just stink at make it cheat sheets hi i haven't received mine hi there i'm in the uk and have yet to receive my skillets i just received mine and my wife is already complaining about the weight now you are offering a much lighter one should they be rusting food has stained them already they weren't seasoned it wasn't left wet uh so yeah Hi, Prepped. I have received both my skillets. They look fantastic, but I'm worried they are not sealed. Hi there. I've been using both of them for a few weeks now, and I am very pleased. Heat just Oh, so they actually were happy with it. Awesome. The new product looks wonderful. However, I cannot order because of my disappointment with the original skillet. <clears throat> Mine is rusting too, so disappointing. I can't find the, uh, very poor quality production with pits on the cooking surface. Not seasoned and unfortunately dot dot dot. Uh, now that I've used the pants for a few weeks, I'm still very satisfied. Oh, good. I left a comment asking why the product I received was not the product you advertised, so I'm trying again. Uh, I'm really disappointed. I received a pan with a broken surface. My skillet looks like everyone else's didn't come pre-seasoned. And now... You're starting to see where I'm getting here, because next we're going to the lunchbox. And the lunchbox, been using my lunchbox for a while now, the packaging receives a lot of admiring looks. But it's not cracked yet, but it looks worse for wear. Also, I have a curry spill on the side so that she couldn't get the stain out. And that's going to be something you're going to see a good deal of. I still have not received mine. Never got my prep. What's happening? How can I reach customer service? Hi, I'm a part of the prep. Lunchbox is loosing up where it folds open. Uh, <clears throat> but So essentially, they're having an issue with it. I never received mine. Can I get a refund? I never received mine. Can I get a refund? Is that the same person? No, <clears throat> that's a different person. I did not get my pledge. And after a few emails and messages, I would please like a refund. Noted, I backed this project and still no product. Oh, so, yeah, bad. Since you do not reply to my email, I'm writing it here. I want a refund. I have not received the lunchbox either. Ooh, I was backer, but I'm waiting on my lunchbox. And they don't want to know this was part of their response. Wait, I was backer 639, but I'm still waiting on my lunchbox. Contacted the prep team, and they don't want to know. This was part of their response. We are sorry, but the pledges have been spent on making the lunchboxes, and we are now out of stock permanently. So unfortunately, this is ugh, there is nothing we could do for you now. This was three weeks ago, and they haven't replied to my emails since. Update: Tastemade reached out to me and have refunded my pledge for the lunchbox that never arrived. Who's Tastemade? <laughs> I never received my lunchbox. Okay. So, yes, we'll go here, but you could probably guess that this is not going to be Sunshine and Daisies. If you no longer monitor it, quit using it to spam us about your colored lunchbox in your frying pan. Any communication from Prepped is spam by default. Uh, after seeing our poor, our poorly, the previous Kickstarter went and how poor communications from Prepped still is, I'm definitely not interested in backing. Never received. No information either. Hi, Prepped. Still waiting on my answers to my leaky lid issue. Hi, Prepped. I left a comment about a year ago to let you know about the lid defect. Evidently, I wasn't the only one. Would love to get a replacement or a refund. Is it possible to get replacement Lake Square containers? I find the case very hard to open, and when it does, it doesn't lie flat. Same here for this. We like the prep pack until the magnets fell off. They just emailed us. Oh, my goodness. But this has been Before You Back on the Prepped Chef 
skillet. If it looks like it's still something you want to back, there's a link down below, because I will tell you, this video is spectacular. But as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers to celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. And thank you for your time, YouTube.